um, it was not in the plan for me to go to Babcock University. In fact, when my mommy brought the suggestion about um, about attending Babcock University, my dad and I gave her the look like, nah, I don't go there. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Musumulua Adeleke. I film live from here in Nigeria. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Like, where have you been? And if you have subscribed, in fact, yay! Massive clap for you. If you have not subscribed, please quickly go and subscribe now so that you join the queue to get your pack of goodies. <laughs> yeah, so if you're a returning subscriber, also welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience in Babcock University. Before I proceed, let me address, I was hearing the few weeks ago, I was hearing something like Babcock, girls that attend Babcock University are prostitutes or something like that. What I'll just say is, please don't generalize. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Don't generalize. So yes, um, it was not in the plan for me to go to Babcock University. In fact, when my mommy brought the suggestion about um, about attending Babcock University, my dad and I gave her the look like, nah, don't go deep. No, so I went to Covenant University. Then I spent about is it two months or one and a half months in Covenant University. Then I had issues with my second, my secondary school leaving certificate exams or results, and I had to leave Covenant University. And my only option then was like Babcock University. So I had to be shipped off to Babcock University. Now Babcock University is located in I think Southwest or Sha in Nigeria, in Ogo State in Nigeria. It is a seventh day Adventist um, university. And uh, I'm just going to run you through how life was for me or generally for students at Babcock University. Now, seven, I mentioned it earlier that Babcock is a seven day Adventist university. That means that as a student in Babcock, you're expected to att attend church services or church activities four times a week. Wednesday evening, Friday evening, Saturday morning, that's Sabbath, and Saturday evenings. So yes, I was, you assigned your churches, you assigned your different churches, like, like over 10 churches or so on campus. They are seven day Adventist churches actually. So you assigned your church and then you are expected to go there. When you are leaving your hall to go to church, you are expected to sign. When you get to church, you are expected, you are expected to also sign in your card. You have this card. All these things are going to be counted and all these things are going to be examined and then it's going to add to your grade at the end of the day. If you miss all these things and um, you might actions will just be taken against you and you may not like the end result so it's just better for you to go and avoid drama so everybody knows that the most interesting church and campus is grace chapel yeah yes i was a beneficiary of or an attendee of grace chapel that church was just uh, sweet it was lively you know it was rocking and everything but that was not my main church my main church was a new creation then later i got changed because i changed campuses now let me mention that babcock has two campuses um the initial campus and the Peru campus as this road through i'll be talking about that too but when i was in, on the main campus that's the initial campus um i was in new creation chapel yeah it was it was just there but sometimes i used to or once in a while i used to try to make it to grace chapel if you are caught not attending your church it might be a problem for you because you're supposed to sign and you're expected to be in the church allocated to you so while in grace chapel anyway i used to be in the decoration team so every friday i used to find myself going to grace chapel i think this happened in my system my second year in my 200 level so i used to go to grace chapel do the decorations of grace chapel for sabbath and then i would make it back to my own church to attend church service that friday evening so yeah so sabbath was you know part of the life and sabbath was such in a way that school activities were suspended from like friday 4 p.m 
to like saturday evenings um, it's something like you are experiencing and you are observing the sabbath classes were not to hold tests were not to hold exams were not to hold it was just supposed to be you and god in fact i think that if you are caught using your system it might even be a problem for you so it was a again sabbath thing and then there were activities you know there are some things that are thrown into you know add a little sprinkle or a bit of you know interesting stuff and everything for an example they could say okay they want um they could say a particular sabbath is traditional sabbath so it means that you're expected to wear your traditional wear and trust some people to rock the look you know and look good they, they can be old school sabbath where you're supposed to dress in such like a vintage style and everything so yeah um i'm going to i must mention in this video that there's a struggle for sabbath lunch because the school is to provide our meals for us and um, during Sabbath, um, uh, shops, the supermarkets and stuff, they were not usually open. So the main major place you would rely to get your food during Sabbath was the cafeteria. And in the cafeteria, they used to serve um, a father stew during Sabbath for Sabbath lunch. So you used to, and it used to be in limited quantity. So there used to be a lot of rush, struggle, in like getting because people want to get that of father stew you need to see pushing people's glasses breaking i remember there was even a time they broke the um, glass of the and um, the glass door of the sabbath of the cafeteria they broke one part of it like it's usually bad i think there are some cases where people even think like it's not a good experience but <laughs> it was part of the experience it was part of the experience so yeah there's also called something called the spiritual week of emphasis aka spirit coco this was a week where there were intense spiritual activities in the school you find yourself going to church or going for church activities morning and evenings like mornings as early as something like 6 a.m. 6 a.m. and evenings like but during this week there will be no tests there will be no exams or a lot or too much of academic activities because like a preacher will be called from outside and they will come and preach or the preacher could even be from the school so spirit coco was usually an intense week you see people not having their baths just to make it to the morning session of spirit coco that's like from 6 30 p.m or thereabouts and things will be shifted classes will be shifted um a little bit to accommodate um the morning sessions of the spiritual activities and spiritual week and everything but yeah it used to be good i for one enjoyed spiritual week of emphasis i think what i liked about it was that the school it used to make the school gather in one place like if you're on the main campus all everybody the staff members who were interested the students everybody would gather in like in the in the stadium of the school so i think i liked the way everybody used to gather in the crowd but i used to enjoy spiritual week of emphasis now i'm also going to be talking about the feast of light please let me let let me make it known here that i'm going to include pictures at the end of this my talk so please make sure you see the pictures to um have a little bit of what i spoke about then there's to be feast of light feast of light is to hold like every november in the year it was something like a christmas carol but um in this one you are expected to come to the stadium it's like the school gathers everybody even people from the um smaller campus that the law campus or a peru campus as i called it earlier everybody will be expected to gather in the school's main stadium plus i think even students from the um from Babcock secondary school where like you just see a lot of people and as you're entering the stadium you are being given candles so when it is an evening event so when everywhere gets dark then from the stage i think somebody's going to launch the light and then you, you are going to light your candles see people lighting their candles the school every you know the same candles and they'll be throwing this fire works if you get pa, 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 pa. then when you are going back to your hostel because candles are not allowed in your hostel i think people now form the names of their graduating class names they will form it using the candles like the memories like <laughs> it's usually 
literally beautiful so i'm going to talk um, that's it about feast of light now let's move to hall worship there's something called hall worship where every tuesday your hostel every hostel has um, its own building beside it called um, activity hall so every Tuesday you get to meet in the activity hall with your hall administrator and other people in your hall this was also compulsory so it's just like meeting you get they talk to you it's like they give little motivational talks or talks that could help you maybe on your health and stuff and everything there's also something called the whole week hmm. the whole week was week where your hall will be celebrating with like a male hall that is similar actually the hostels are built in such a way that they have different structures for the they have something like same structures for an example let me break it down this way if an a structure is built in form of a there'll be like the a version for the males and there'll be the a structured version for the females so the halls that have similarities like that will choose one week where they will celebrate so during this time there will be something called cross inspection where already every friday you're supposed to clean your room and there's supposed to be inspection but for, during the whole week the guys will come to the, the guys will come to inspect the rooms in the ladies hall and it will be vice versa and then on sunday during the whole week um um it was an open day where guys even your family members can come all the way they can enter the hall they can come to your rooms they can sit down with you but just for a short period of time i think maybe from like 10 a.m to 4 p.m or thereabouts so by this time you want to ensure that everywhere is clean and your bra and pants you are not hanging it where everybody's gonna see it so yes that's it about um the open day next i'm going to be talking about the room check every night you are expected to sign that you are in the hostel no one is expected to sign for you you're supposed to sign by yourself even if you are sleeping you're expected to be woken up to sign so i remember in my i think first or second year i used to sleep before room check because there are ladies there are people that are assigned the job of doing and uh, the room checks they come around um they come around and they actually paid for it they are students too so before they come i used to sleep earlier before they come and my roommates used to sign for me until one day i think maybe my roommate slept off like i did or something like that and they didn't sign and we were, i was sleeping basically we missed it i remember i had to beg a porter to allow me sign it was not funny oh i begged 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 because every student has 60 merits in Bangkok university open every semester so missing one room check check gives you 30 points the merit and you have to clear it by mopping by sweeping or doing work assigned to you by the cleaners or the porters so i needed to clear it one way or the other because i know one trouble i know one wahala there was also another day where, um the girl that was in charge of room check do you know what she did she signed for i think she signed for everybody instead of taking the stress of going from room to room to ensure that everybody was signing this girl signed for everybody so my roommate was upstairs and then she came downstairs she didn't know the girl had signed for us she now went to meet the porter that she wanted to sign only for them to open the book and they saw that she had been she had been signed for like what i didn't even know how that that um room check girl i don't know how she escaped it because trust me it's have been a lot of trouble like signing for everybody i won't be so i won't be surprised if she would have if she was suspended if she ever got suspended for that it was like a big crime it was like a big crime let's not like so also as backward students every semester you are giving a long distance card and a short distance card long distance cards are used when you want to um travel on a long journey maybe you are going to sleep overnight you're going to spend the weekend while short distance cards were used for you just going out and coming back into school the same day but you must be in school by 4 p.m if not they get trouble for your head trouble for yourself so they used to give us um long distance short distance 
uh, and you can use your long distance pass just once in a month while your short distance pass you can use it to go to church on sunday or you can use it to go to the mosque on friday and you can also use it to go to neighboring towns like um shagamu Iperu, inside the mission and everything as far as you are coming back to school that day you can use it but don't go do the one way you will go not quickly come back enter school because that's another big day on okay so there's something called work study where students work for the school and they get paid you can work in the agriculture department you can work as a room check person you can work in different departments Sha. but me the only time i did it i worked in the agri department i was um i was um, i was giving a portion of flowers to wet every morning and yes i did it and i got paid i got paid for like about 15,000 naira per month but there was a time I gave up and I couldn't come and kill myself so I started working <laughs> anyway I wanted to let it know that he, although I used to obey school rules to avoid drama and trouble I wasn't very perfect I remember myself sneaking in hot dogs cans of hot dogs I used to sneak them in school because we are allowed to use microwaves to cook noodles so I used to um, sneaking hot dogs I would go to the window of my room call my roommate and be passing it to them and I don't know where I got the liver because the place where I used to sneak in it from like I could have gotten into trouble it was like an open place anybody could have seen me but to Jesus be my glory I take it so in 300 level I moved to the second campus the Peru campus I didn't want to go to Peru campus because in the Peru campus things were more strict than the main campus gosh when I moved to Peru campus I was actually forced because in 200 level my department or my classmates were moved to Peru campus but because I didn't want to go I, I, I was making a journey to and fro almost every day to go to Iperu campus for my classes and everything but in 300 level I got forced to move away to Iperu campus I remember I cried because I didn't just know I was going to cope I had just of the campus how things were tough I, I was just crying like where will I start my life but from but to Jesus be my glory to Jesus be my glory I survived I appeared I'm strong, I'm here, I'm happy. So yeah, next to it is that um, it's concerning social activities, social activities in back campus. Yeah, it was okay. There used to be dinners, especially second semester used to be full dinners, um, activities for departments for a whole week and everything. But my social activity personally was low. I I know used to go for my dinners. I know used to go the time I wanted to go for my dinner, my my dinner. I think that was my final year. My sister got ill, so I was with her in the hospital. I think yeah and basically my social activities was actually just low until my final year that was even like after i had finished i was just waiting for graduation from back up i joined enactors like enactors what is enactors enactors means entrepreneurship action us or something like that it's basically something like an NGO activities that undergraduate students of different schools all over the world were involved in and let's carry out projects that were environmentally friendly and price friendly so I joined enactors through the stop go movement now the stop go movement was a movement where Bangkok students went to the Elysian community to help them uh, make mosquito net and to clean their surroundings basically to reduce the rate of malaria and all those mosquitoes and stuff yeah so that's i joined enactors i probably will just talk about how life was for me enactors in um, another video but enactors was mwah, it was sweet i have beautiful loving memories for enactors like i'm not even supposed to forget that ah let me talk about my roommates. I seem like this. I had roommate drama as well. There was only a time my roommate was so my roommate was upset with us that she called in the school security and they came to use their van to carry us to their office. <laughs> ah 
I don't want to talk much about it because I don't want to create something like oh this person was wrong, that person was wrong. But anyway, I survived it. But usually, I used to have problems with my roommates, especially the older ones, the ones in older level. If ever they were trying to something like bully us, I used to speak out. I didn't like it, so I used to speak out about it. But I survived that one again. To Jesus be my glory. So I'm just going to run through how each year was for me in Black Pop. In 100 level, I joined Black Pop. I was having a tough time assimilating and understanding what I was being taught in Covenant University. But when I got to Black Pop, I, I could understand better. So good news. But in my first year, I was not very serious. So in my first semester, I had I carried over three courses. I think two, but I just wanted to have a boosted um results for the third one so i could carry the three of them over yeah and yes in my second semester i became more serious <laughs> in 200 level i joined this chapel decoration team it was okay i used to stress myself to go to Quero campus every day in 300 level i had moved to Quero campus i you know i just basically adjusted in 400 level you know uh just, just same girl same me no too much of social activities i think now that i'm thinking of it i should have even been involved in social activities and like everything but today i'm going to also tell you about my best semester in Babcock university my best semester in Babcock university was my 100 level summer now in Babcock university if you carry over a course um, there are usually summer activities now the holidays in Babcock University start from like April to like early September so within those like four months if you had carried a course a course over from like um, the uh, previous semesters you could come to school to like redo them during the summer semester now the summer semester was chilled it was cool guess why because they were usually like about 15 percent or 10 percent of the normal school population present you didn't see plenty of students you didn't have to struggle or line up for too long for things or too much trouble or too much drama na 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 it was cool it was wonderful less people less drama less struggles and everything just mind your business work hard towards your studies and ensure that you just redo those courses that you pass and apart from those courses that you failed and also you could do a course ahead of your previous semester so in every 200 level for every 200 level student you are required to um, get into agriculture do farming make ridges plant are we i included them in the pictures you're going to see plant vegetables and stuff and to be um, to be recorded in your marking script and your in your results and everything so during my summer semester i just did that i did my farming ahead because it was like 100 level summer so i just did it ahead of my 200 level class and that was my stress when i resumed my second year okay i expected to dress compliantly your skirt must be below your knee you must not wear sleeveless clothes or anything that is showing your armpits different rules as regards dressing if you are using hair attachment it must not be um it must not be below your shoulder you should stop at your shoulder maximum and everything so if you don't dress compliantly when you are leaving your halls your porter and the security there they will be calling you to tell you to go and change sister please Sister, please, please go and change. Go and change. Your dress is not compliant. Your skirt is too short. Please go and change. And we are trying to do strong words this thing with They can just dash you the merit. Your makeup must not be too heavy. It must be light. All those kind of things. Like the memories. <laughs> you see some ladies arguing with the SOP and the porter that what is wrong in my skirt now? What is wrong? This skirt I wore yesterday. Now you people are complaining today that it's tight. What is wrong? Is it my fault that God gave me big bomb bomb? It's not my fault. You'll be seeing drama. <laughs> Memories, oh, like not compliant. If you wear something that is not compliant and you escape your quota and the security in your hall, you can just be walking to class. You just see one of the school staff members, they'll just seize your ID card and ask you to go and change. If they want to be wicked, they can dash you demerit on top. <laughs> oh my god, you must be compliant. Ah, oh gosh. 
Okay, so I mentioned that my best semester was 100 level summer. So that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you about Babco University. I hope that in these things that I've mentioned, you have a little bit, a little idea of what, of what you think about Babco University. And especially if you want to attend there, you have an idea of how your life will look like. And please, I'm going to advise you. I'm going to give some tips on how to survive Babco University. I think first off is that don't be like me. Try to have um, an improved social life because from there you get to meet people like you see me during evenings my roommates will go out they would have fun they'll meet up with their friends but i'll just stay in the room and everything so please i don't think you should do much of that try to go out be relaxed yes you're supposed to read and study but try to go out be relaxed enjoy yourself make new friends be open and everything i'm not you should go and do something wrong. I remember there was an idea I did a work with God, like a personal work with God and everything. And few times, very few times, maybe I had a work with my friend in the night and everything. So try to ensure that you have a balanced or at least an average social life. Also, another way to survive about book investing is that um, try to obey the rules, try to avoid drama. I know sometimes all those porters, all those security personnel in each hall. hall they can be annoying they can be too they can be just upsetting like they can just do things that are not required of them but it is what it is but try to just obey the rules and you know it's just for a short time and before you know it you are out you are what you are out another thing i'm going to say is be open let's say they didn't try to make new friends like some of the amazing people I have met in my life, I met them in Bob Cook University. I'm not going to lie. So I think that is all for this video. Yes, uh, before I go, um, before I go off, I'm going to mention that sometimes you might have issues with your results. For an example, you might have an A and the school will record it on your website or on your school's page as a D. Don't grieve for them. Don't want. Don't agree for them. Disturb them. Disturb them and ensure that your scores are changed. Keep disturbing them. Don't just think because they tell you they work on it, then they work on it. It can delay your graduation. Disturb them over and over again. All the legs, all the strings that I need to pull to ensure that correction is made. Please correct or corrections are made. Please ensure you do that because this is your future. You can't pass a course and then you are mistakenly recorded and um, you are mistakenly given something else and then you now come back to do a summer for it or you come back to um, study or you now have to pay another school fees to just do it so keep disturbing my dear keep disturbing and ensure it works out so i think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed please do that i beg you in the name of god help my market please subscribe and don't forget to like this video don't comment forget to comment don't forget to connect with me through my social media handles if you have questions about Babcock university or you have some curiosity that you want to know or you want to satisfy and everything please feel free to read through to me through my social media and those until next time thank you so much again bye bye